Joe Bauer, and today I'm going to show you how to make kasha barnishkas. Traditionally, it's a lot of caramelized onions, kasha or buckwheat groats, and bow tie pasta. It's kind of like an episode of Seinfeld. Don't overthink it. Nowadays, cooks are zhuzhing it up a bit with mushrooms and seasonal veggies, which is precisely what I'm going to show you through the magic of an iPhone camera. Lomi or Haven. All right, we're gonna start off by slicing two to three large onions. Meanwhile, heat up a Dutch oven or skillet with one third cup olive oil, butter, or schmaltz. And then pour in your sliced onions and cover with about a teaspoon of kosher salt and a pinch of ground pepper. You're going to let these caramelize for a good 20 to 40 minutes. Make sure to pay attention to the heat so that you don't burn them, you just wanna caramelize them. I generally use a medium heat, but lower the heat as necessary. While that's going, pour in your cup of kasha into a small bowl and mix with one large egg. Really mix it around, make sure that it's coated all the kasha. If you're using stock, and you should, start heating it up now to a boil. While you're waiting for your stock to heat up, go ahead and start working on your broccoli. Now you may have seen across social media and some articles people advocating that you use your broccoli stocks. I have jumped on board the bandwagon so you can see me here peeling off the rough exterior of the broccoli stalk. And then I'm gonna go ahead and chop off the bottom because it's a little dirty. And then I'm going to slice it like an onion. So you're just gonna go ahead and throw those into the pot with your onions and they should caramelize just like your onions. Once your stock is ready, go ahead and heat up a small skillet. Put your kasha mixed with the egg in there. Toast the kasha on a high heat for about a minute or two until the kasha starts to brown. And then you're going to put in two cups of stock, cover, and let it simmer until the kasha has absorbed all of the stock. It should be a little chewy at the end. When you're getting close to the end, go ahead and boil a large pot of salted water and dump in about 250 grams of bow tie pasta. The pasta should take about eight minutes, which is the perfect amount of time to go ahead and start sauteing your broccoli florets. So go ahead and toss those in, give them a little bit of seasoning of salt and freshly ground coriander. After a few minutes and assuming your kasha is ready, go ahead and add that to the pot and mix it around. And then add your bow tie pasta and toss it all around. Once you've got everything mixed around, take your pot or skillet off the heat and pour in the juice of one lemon. Go ahead and give it one last mix until you're ready to serve. And in case you're looking at this dish and thinking, it's not green and earthy enough, go ahead and sprinkle some fresh parsley on top. That's it, you're done. Now get noshin. Kasha varnishkas, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it a little golf clap, shall we? And that's all I have for you today. Thanks as always for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share the videos. And until the next recipe, juicy.